In the heart of the financial world, a storm is brewing as the enigmatic LUNC cryptocurrency readies itself for a staggering 25% surge in the coming weeks. The digital realm is ablaze with speculation as traders and investors brace for a roller coaster ride of gains. Yet, amidst the electrifying anticipation, a lingering question remains. What hidden forces could propel Luncy to meteoric heights? And is there a twist in this tale of riches? Welcome to Crypto Millionaire, your source for the latest content on crypto. Make sure to watch the entire video and hit the like button if you're interested in more insightful content. Disclaimer. Subscribe to my Telegram channel. There I post shocking crypto news daily. The Terra Classic coin started witnessing aggressive selling in mid-August, leading to a sharp drop from $0.0000658 to $0.0000534. The downfall recorded a 34% drop, retesting the support trend line of the falling channel pattern. The coin price has rebounded several times from Dynamic, leading to a bullish bounce in its ongoing recovery. Here's how this chart setup could influence further trends in Luncy price. Terra Classic Daily Chart Key Points The Luncy price may prolong the current downturn until the channel pattern is intact. A bullish reversal from the support trend line set the coin price for a 25% upswing. The intraday trading volume in the Lun C coin is $17.80 million, indicating a 36% loss. The Terra Classic coin has witnessed a more steady downtrend in the last six months under the influence of a falling channel pattern. The formation of new lower highs and lows reflects the market sentiment is active in selling on bullish bounces. On August 17th, the daily chart printed a long tail rejection at the lower band of the channel pattern indicating the presence of demand pressure. A bullish pullback from this support has led the prices 22% higher to currently trade at $0.0000638. If the lunk price manages to sustain above 60 cents in the coming days, the buyers may lead the recovery rally by another 25% to hit the overhead trend line of the channel. However, the market participants will get a better confirmation for trend reversal if the coin price gives a bullish breakout from the resistance trend line. Can the lunch price fall below 50 cents? Until the aforementioned channel pattern is intact, the Terra Classic coin may continue to extend its downward trend. While the anticipated recovery provides a 25% growth potential, the market participants must remain cautious at the pattern's upper trend line. A reversal from the resistance trend line may lead to the next correction phase below the 50 cents low. Super Trend A red film projected in the daily chart reflects the short-term trend is bearish. Relative Strength Index The daily RSI slope at the overhead region reflects a high possibility of a bullish bounce. Will Terra Luna Classic hit $1? I still believe in it. What do you think of it? Leave your opinion in a comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Get ready for a seismic shift in the world of virtual realms as the Terra Classic Developer Group gears up for the highly anticipated V2 2.0 core upgrade. Brace yourselves for a quantum leap into an era of enhanced gameplay, unparalleled immersive experiences, and a universe of possibilities. As the digital frontiers of Terra Classic expand, so does the excitement and we've got an exclusive sneak peek into the future of this mesmerizing metaverse. The L1 Terra Classic Task Force, responsible for the development of Terra Classic, has revealed plans for an upcoming core upgrade. The V2 2.0 upgrade is expected to bring significant improvements and advancements to the Terra Luna Classic blockchain. As part of their announcement, the L1TF unveiled details regarding the testing and deployment timeline as well as the potential impact on LUNC and USTC tokens. Progress on V2 2.0 Core Upgrade Vin Nguyen, a developer from the L1 Terra Classic Task Force, highlighted the completion of Sprint 2, which took place from August 8th to 21. During this phase, the team successfully released the first version of the Core V2 2.0 Upgrade Currently, the development team is collaborating with the front-end and contract teams on the Rebels to testnet to ensure backward compatibility and a smooth transition. 
The V2 2.0 core upgrade includes several important improvements to the Terra Classic infrastructure. Key changes involve upgrading the Cosmos SDK to SDK 46, migrating to Comet BFT for Tendermint, and updating IBC Go to V6. Additionally, the migration of Way SMD is now complete. The developer group aims to finalize the mainnet upgrade by the end of the third sprint, which is expected to conclude in September. Furthermore, the team is exploring the possibility of migrating the Oracle and the 20% VP limit logic from the forked Comet BF and Cosmos SDK to the core. This integration would allow Terra Classic to utilize the canonical Comet BF and Cosmos SDK, resulting in reduced maintenance efforts. Maintaining Luant Cap Proposal, the L1. TF also evaluated the Luant Cap Proposal, which would prevent the chain from minting more LUNTs in each block. While this measure would impact the primary source of income for delegators, validators, and the community pool, the developer group recommends avoiding this change as it may have adverse effects on the chain's stability. Additionally, the L1TF closely monitors developments related to the community-owned station, finder, and wallet, aiming to track progress in those areas. As Terra Classic's L1 Terra Classic Task Force prepares for the V2, 2.0 core upgrade, anticipation grows within the community. The expected positive impact on LUNTS and USTC prices further underscores the significance of this monumental update. What a shocking news today. What do you think of it? But that's not the end. In a bold and decisive move, Terra takes a stand against cyber threats by freezing its website, sending shockwaves through the digital landscape. With a firm resolve to protect its users, Terra has slammed the door on phishing attacks, leaving hackers out in the cold. As the virtual realm shivers in response, a new era of online security dawns, promising users a sanctuary in the ever-evolving realm of the Internet. Terra has asked users to stay away from Terra.money domains to avoid falling victims to phishing scams. Terra blockchain has frozen its website following phishing attacks by malicious actors targeting unsuspecting users. While the amount stolen was not stated, Terra asked users to avoid the site until all issues have been resolved. Hackers use Terra website for phishing attack. Terra announced the freeze on X on August 22, 2023, stating that it carried out the action to prevent more phishing scams from happening. The announcement is an update following a security breach that affected its website, which saw hackers use it to carry out a phishing scam on visitors. On August 19th, Terra warned users not to interact with any site using the Terramony domain, as it was working to take full control of the domain, and followed up with a similar warning the next day, on August 20th. While Terra has been able to successfully freeze the affected domains, it advised customers to steer clear of the sites until the matter was resolved. Furthermore, the latest update said, Our team has been working around the clock to rectify this issue, but we've encountered delays with some third-party responses. We appreciate your continued patience and understanding as we work to resolve this as quickly as possible. Following the phishing attacks, Station, a Terra-powered wallet that allows users to access various blockchains and decentralized applications, also made significant changes to ensure security. Part of the changes include an update of the Station Chrome extension to version 7, 4.4 to thwart phishing attempts, and also updated its other browser extensions like Microsoft Edge and Firefox. Station also asked customers not to use its mobile and desktop apps until the team has confirmed their safety. New TFL CEO says no more algorithmic stablecoins. Terra's website security breach comes more than one year after the eventful collapse of the Terra ecosystem, with the value of algorithmic stablecoin Terra USD, issued by Terraform Labs and native token Luna, becoming worthless, thereby leading to massive losses worth billions of dollars. Terraform co-founder and CEO Do Kwan, who was said to evade authorities for several months after the collapse, has been arrested and is currently serving a four-month jail term in Montenegro. Meanwhile, the US and South Korea, which believe Kwan is responsible for Terra's crash and users' losses, are seeking his extradition. In July, Terraform Labs appointed Chris Amani as its new CEO, who said that the blockchain company will no longer be algorithmic stablecoins. What do you think of it? 
What's your predictions? Leave your opinion in a comment section. Also, don't forget about daily giveaway where you can win 50000 Luna Classic tokens. All you have to do is to be subscribed, leave a like, and leave a comment, hash Terra Luna. Things are going to get real flashy.